Howdy, artists. Welcome back to art. Sorry, this music is just getting me excited to talk like a cowboy. All right, so friends, um, we, now that we have heard our story, Mouse Paint, we are ready for part one of our project and we are going to together draw a mouse. Now, I'm gonna draw one mouse, but you can draw as many mice as you want, okay, after I show you. So if you wanna do three, because there's three in the story, you can totally do that. If you wanna do one, it's totally up to you, friends, okay? So just follow me. All right, so here's what we're gonna need. We're gonna need paper. So I just have my drawing pad here, and we're gonna need a pencil, and some sort of black marker, crayon, whatever you have that is black, okay? So I'm gonna start drawing, uh, get a paper here. I'm going to start drawing right away with my black so that you guys can really see what I'm doing. Uh, but I would suggest that you guys start with this guy, Mr. Pencil so that if you make a line that you want to try again, you can always have that eraser handy. Um, and sometimes it's just easier to uh, start with a pencil. And remember all of my drawing tips, friends. If you make a line you don't like, try to figure out how to make it into a beautiful oops. And you can always ghost draw. If there's a line that seems kind of hard, you can ghost draw first. And you can always do a practice mouse and then uh, try again on another piece of paper. Okay, so for our mouse, in the middle of my paper here, I'm going to start with two black dots. We're gonna start with the eyes. Remember, the mice use their eyes so they could keep a lookout for that cat, okay? So after I do my two black dots, or with your pencil, you guys are using your pencil, I'm gonna go around with a circle, okay? And voila, we have two eyes for our mouse. Now I'm going to uh, put some eyelashes, but you don't have to, friends, okay? That's just something I wanted to do. Um, all right here, let's see. Now, in between down here, I'm going to do the nose of my little mouse and color it in black. There we go. All right, and friends, you can always, if I'm going too fast, you can always pause the video and catch up and then hit play again. Okay, now see this uh, nose here? I'm gonna actually use that nose to help me draw the head of my mouse. See, I'm kind of ghost drawing it first. So we're gonna go around the eyes here. So check this out. Starting on this side, I'm going to go around and meet back at the nose again, okay? Now if your head is a little different than mine, a little bigger, a little smaller, it totally is okay. All right, I know it looks a little weird right now, friends, but we're not done yet. Okay, so now we have our head. Let's put on some ears. It's not a mouse without ears. So on each side of the head here, I'm going to put two ears. I'm gonna put the middle. Ooh, it kind of reminds me of Mickey Mouse when I see this. And just because I feel like it, I think I'm gonna put some eyebrows right there. Okay, now, I don't know if you guys know this, but mice, kind of like cats, they have whiskers. So I'm gonna draw three whiskers coming out of the nose. Look at that, ching Mouse head complete. But unlike our teddy bear that we did a while ago, we're doing the whole body this time, okay? Not just the head. So, right here at the nose, I'm going to come down with a straight line. Right about like that. 
Okay, that's gonna be the start of the body. And then I'll show, I'll ghost drop first. Right about here, kind of where those whiskers are, we're gonna draw a curved line for the back of the mouse's body, okay? So watch closely. Oh yeah. And then all we need to do is close it up. Okay. Now we know that mice have those tails. Okay, so remember those lines we talked about, friends? Zigzag, loop-de-loo, swirly. I want you to choose a line and in the back, we are going to draw that for the tail right here in this corner. I think I'm gonna go with a uh, wavy line. Okay, almost done. We need the, we can't forget this, the little feet. Remember from the story, the mouse, the mice use their feet to mix the paint. So here we go. I'm gonna put one foot, it's kind of like a hill shape, right in the corner of the body there, and then another one. Two feet, whoop, and two little toesies. Cha-ching! Mouse complete. So friends, you can draw more mice if you want, or you can save this for part two next week. So if you did it in pencil, one more thing, make sure that you go back over what, what you drew in black so that your mouse really stands out. So if you did it in pencil, now what you're gonna do is you're going to outline your mouse in black marker crayon whatever you have all right and then next week we're going to get to the paint mixing and all of the colors it's going to be awesome all right friends great job thumbs up